Hi guys, how's it going? I decided to do just a quick pop-up video here. Um, I'm going to fix this door. I'm going to switch it around because this just is bugging me. And um, So here's your prize uh, added to the prize package. It's this uh, seam binding. This is really old. It was from 1986. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's going in the bucket. Like I said, some things are, are valuable and some things are not. But we all need a piece of lace here and there, don't we? Okay, so I wonder where my um, pieces are. This makes me sad to do this, but um, it's very noticeable to me. It feels very clumsy and very awkward, and I don't like those words in my book. I don't think this will be too difficult. And I am a perfectionist. You bet I am. You bet. There's some things I'm okay with, but this this just wasn't working. All right. So I'll fix that guy up. And we're going to take this and just put it on right over there. Bend. Oh, see, that's that wood under there. It does actually split. But we've got to kind of massage it to where it'll go over to this side. Um, let's get a piece of strong, strong, strong tape. Mm -hmm. I think we need something stronger than the gaffer's tape. I would use the black tape, but I think we need something stronger for this. This is athletic tape. This is the good stuff. My niece plays pro volleyball, and I know she probably uses a roll of this a day. She plays volleyball in Switzerland. She's a pretty amazing person. Hi, Kate. I know you're not watching. Hi, Katie. <laughs> okay. So we are going to put this like this. You kind of hold it up to the light. You can kind of see where it's at. I know it probably seems a bit crazy that I'm doing this. Uh, you know, the page is finished. Why am I still messing with it? Because it doesn't feel right. You know? It just doesn't feel right. Now look at the difference here already. You see the difference that that made? It's important that it feels right. As well as looks right. I should have gotten it a little bit. Okay. I want it right up to those guys. Craftsmanship does matter. Nobody else would have known that but me, but I know it, All right? Hopefully I have enough deli sheets left of these colors. This isn't the exact color. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I did put some away. I've got them right here. Always keep your spare stuff. Okay. It's from the other page. It's a brighter gold. So we got a bit of a repair that we need to do right there. Uh, 
that cord? Hold on. Sorry. Okay, now we're out of the way. I don't like to bump you guys, but I hate to have you, have, you know, be looking at cords, too. So, just throw a little bit of the fabric tack in here, and we need this to really stick down, kind of mold into here. Which we'll put a piece of a deli sheet over the top of it, of course. But first, we want to make sure that that stays down, goes as flat as we can make it. Oh, I can't wait till the days get longer. I've been working on videos, I've been working on instructions, I've been working on finishing layouts. It's cool though, huh? The one thing that it's missing is, um, it's not on this one. Hold on, one of these pictures has it. Look at those stars that are there on the outer edge. I'm thinking about those. I'm thinking about those. I like stars. They're kind of one of my favorite little elements. I actually thought about getting star tattoos. Okay. Put these guys away. Or off of the table. They don't need to be sitting right there. All right. So this one's going to be a little bit different. This one's going to have the deli sheet going up over this. Nobody's going to notice it, most likely. Except for me. I'll notice it. But I really don't feel like matching. Oh, do I have the paper right here? I don't think I picked it up yet, did I? piece in the garbage? I emptied out the garbage. <sighs> so picky. I'm so picky that sometimes it drives me crazy. But if it's right here, I can do it right. Okay, I can't find it. Uh, as soon as I start to put this on, though, I know I'll find it. <laughs> Nature of the beast. Alright. See, this is almost fixed as it is right there. Almost good enough, just like that. Oh, I should probably go find some eye drops. With um, the rains that we've gotten, California is turning green already. So I don't know if you guys know this. California's green season is from about January to March. Now, we had so much rain last year that it lasted until May. The green did, which was... an just amazing. Uh, some of this. Out. But with all that happening, uh, that does kick up my allergies significantly. And uh, I'm going to put one more uh, little strip of something over here. Is that what we're working? Let's bring in just a couple more of the yellow. Wish I would have cut that the other direction. Just going to go right through in there. Push that in nice and strong. 
Okay, let me fold. Beautiful. See the difference? It's a huge difference on the way that the book feels and the way that the book behaves. But it's got to dry faster than this. Dry time, dry time, dry time. Pink. This has all the colors in it right there. It's a beautiful piece of deli sheet. Look at all those colors. Can you see them all? There, it's perfect. Eyes quit twitching. Eyes quit twitching. Please quit twitch. Twitching. Perfection. Let's fill that one little spot. Don't like a spot. What do we do? We fix it. I leave a spot there when you're right there. Just fix it. Look how perfect that just fit right on in there. Just gotta get gotta kind of work that around here in it, whatever it takes. It's going to be so much better, guys, I promise. So, just make sure your doors fold that direction. Rarely do I find that doing the extra work is not worth it, meaning I am usually quite happy if I take that extra step and do it the way I know it can be done. I generally don't, I'm not settled unless it's right. But that's part of what wakes me up at, you know, 3.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. It's just wanting to do it right. So we're just going to leave that guy there. This guy up here. We're going to let that dry. Alright. I think I'm going to at least try to walk around the block. My knees need to be stretched out for sure. So. We'll chat soon. All right. I'll bring you back in a little bit and we'll um, see how it looks. All right. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. We're back. Seeing how the door repair goes here. I just got a quick walk-in and then I washed my dishes. And uh, so, yeah, now it's just trying to fine-tune what we've got going on here. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of this black and wish it up here a little. Super simple. Black Stabilo. Stabilo all 80, 8046. Yeah. You can get up these on Amazon. If you buy one of them, it's five bucks. If you buy a dozen, it's like 14 to 17. And it, you know, you just got to keep an eye out and uh, watch the shipping cost because I don't think that they have these on Prime. And they're kind of mm, hiking up the price a little bit too, so just watch out. Right here, this got dead. So we're going to add in 
one little piece here of pink. Just a thin strip maybe of the pink. I don't think it needs a huge amount. How about a dash? Just a dash of the pink. And you see how that kind of, um, now without it, you see how that's kind of dead right there? Even though there's a lot of colors in there and there's a lot of interest, I mean, we could even put this right up here. Look here. I like this darkness, so I'm kind of avoiding going right there. But then it does still need something to give it just a touch. It's, it's just a it's fine-tuning. It's fine tuning the colors like I would if I was painting a picture. So, um, I thought I threw that brush away. <laughs> what is it doing here? I want that brush. Okay, just kind of give it kind of a cattywampusness. Cattywampus is an actual word, I think. <laughs> it's a good word. We're actually kind of mimicking that yellow shape underneath of it, yellow-green. Pushing it in, pushing it in to there. It brings a little bit of that light down into this crevice. So for me, I saw that and it was just kind of a dead space. So here, you know, the darks, I don't want any of my darks to be Mm -hmm. where your eye just kind of stalls or voids uh, it, in this small a format you don't want to overwhelm the eye but you don't want to have dead space either you're always looking for that balance always looking for that intricacy the beauty of color and I think that ended up perfect just like that. So let's add just a little bit more darkness right there. Now why would I add darkness right there? To give it just a little extra contrast. Contrast creates interest. See? And we're actually going to do a little bit more right there. kind of outline this guy just a touch here so we can't get to come out it didn't quite work out the way I'd hoped uh, let's look here we have what was that one brush that I used that worked so well that's not that that's the dilutions paint pen uh, oh it was the uh, markers I think those are over at my other desk Oh, well, I swear, this is the um, Distress Crayon, the Seedless Preserves. I used it on my other piece. It is such a beautiful color. There it goes. <laughs> Not putting it on everything, but it really does add a richness. See that? Right there is really kind of a dead pink. Let's pull it in here. Well, why stop? You yeah, know, needs a little help right there. Let's bring in that blue. Maybe this blue is nice. Actually, let's grab the blue gelato. So nice, it's brighter. Don't want to make mud, so we got to be cautious of that. Have to be, that gots to be, we gots to be careful. Hmm. <laughs> Let's drop in a stripe here and there. We're just touching it.
this blue has a different property to it. This is more of the Prussian blue that kind of has that um, clear, very transparent color to it, but beautiful, beautiful color. And yep, we can pull it down into the picture too. This leaves a very chalky color, as does this white very, very chalky of the gelatos. This is the Faber-Castell gelatos. Chalky, chalky, chalky. This is pure. It's interesting. Now that I've got this color in hand, look at this color throughout here. I didn't even really realize that that color was in there as often as it was. Now we're just going to enhance it in a couple of places. Kind of take away a little bit of that Pepto-Bismol pink. You know, I try. I try to like that color, but I have a hard time with Pepto-Bismol pink. This is the fossilized amber. That was the festive berries. This is a very transparent color. It's not really making that much difference in uh, enhancing anything here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference with using it. I think it is making a difference, or I wouldn't keep doing it. I'm not seeing a whole lot of it. Sure that will be there. I like what it's doing. Okay, we're gonna leave that at that. See, we fixed it. It really didn't take that long. It took like 30 minutes, and the page closes. It's a huge difference, and so worth the time that it took to do it. You know, just, just, if you realize there's a mistake, if you realize you could do it better, just do it. Don't be lazy, you know. Lazy's not allowed in the fine art world. That's for darn sure. Love that. Perfect little drop of blue right there. Needs it right there, doesn't it? Dead spot. <laughs> I'm just going to accentuate that just a little bit right there. So it's just continuing that blue line down. So, now that I have gelatos in hand, how can I make this better? Now, is that helping that out? I don't know. Kind of helps that out a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. This makes it interesting. There, it just kind of grays things down. You have to be cautious with a, a product that's going to go into the pores. Sometimes it enhances the pores, and sometimes it just clogs the pores. Right? I don't want to 
want to use just one color. So again, I'm using the same product throughout the book. I'm using the same colors. Uh, this will create harmony between the pages without even really trying. Now I know a lot of people do this anyway uh, because that's the products that they have or or whatever. Or it is just kind of their inherent uh, color scheme. Because at the end of the day we're all trying to make something beautiful for ourselves. Not for anybody else. We first have to make it for ourselves and then for others. Mm, I hope we're not, you know, making that too muddy over there. It's a little muddy. That's okay. It's the edge. We're allowed to do that on the edge frame. It's a frame. Let's okay, let's put these guys back in here. Let's put these guys back over here. I think those are up here. Okay. Now, I was looking here. Has a lot of fringe up top. It detracts up here. It doesn't detract from the other page, but I just don't like how it looks here. We can definitely leave the uh, side edge fringy. I think that's cool. Probably just got stuff all over my itchy nose. And yep, I am putting my dirty fingers on the edges of this. See if we can't make this more interesting. Why, yes. Yes, we can. Look at that beautiful color that happens. This is what I call fine tuning. So I'm going through and fine tuning the pages, just looking to see if there's anything that I think can make them better than what they already are. It's interesting in the pictures. There's these three lines that come up very clearly in the photos, but in truth, in real life, you don't really see them at all most bizarre occurrence. All right, uh, where's my bright yellow gelato? Where's my bright yellow one? There it is. Okay, not doing much for me. Uh, it's not a bad thing, it's just not doing anything for me. What other colors can we pull in that are part of our color scheme? And then opposite of purple is uh, orange. Hold on. I'm trying to do a quick color wheel in my head. I do like this though. I like what this orange is doing. Just giving us a little extra pop. Pops. Let's see what this uh, rusty hinge. Good color. So distress crayons and gelatos are very similar. But I guess I when I was watching Tim Holtz work on using uh, the distressed crayons because I wanted to find out more about the product. Uh, he said that they 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 dry better than gelatos. Uh, they they don't rub off the way a gelato can always 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 rub off. So <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry. I keep I keep you know, twirling it because I'm. Kind of infatuated with the piece. I, I love how it turned out. I'm just bringing in a little bit more color down in here. A little dead, a little dark. Yeah, it's working. Don't overwork. 
bananas. I'm trying to pull out a little few more highlights. I think that's good. I need to quit messing with it. This is how this has dried. I think it's super cool. <laughs> it can always be better. Lovely. Just touches, just littlest, tiniest touches, people. I'm not quite sure why I made him so red. That's it. All right, guys, that is enough playing with that page. Um, I'll get this uh, posted. Today's the second. Uh, this will come up to you on the third or the fourth. I'm not sure which. <laughs> not sure. I like the interest in this now. I do. I like it better this 100 times better improvement just is I knew it would be this is great and here you guys might not have seen this oh let me put the lid on this before I mess up um, get a book under here. here's the pop-up tent And then, and then, so I got pop-ups, I have pop-ups and pull-ups. Big tent. And these will get flags on them. I believe at the end, uh, I'm not going to put them up, you know, of course, while I'm uh, building. This does have to come down. This, this does not fold in. You've got to fold these guys. Let's see, you can't fold those guys down and fold him at the same time. So that's why this has to come off like this. Oh, no, mister. That will be getting a, a bit of fabric tack on there. The, just felt that pull up. Look how nice that sits too. This is just ready to uh, be worked on. <laughs> okay, I think what I'm actually going to do, uh, and maybe I'll just do this real fast. I'm going to um, back this page onto there. Maybe I'll do another pop. So, as you know, I did prep these uh, pages. These are all doubles that are put together. The centers are removed of the... I've taken at least two uh, you know, sets of pages out. The set being the inside of the... Here, like this. See our signature. There's our center. So we're going to take out two pages of our center. And sometimes we take out a third one. This is how we prep our book. Basic book prep. By the center of this guy. Two, 
Do we have two pages there? Carefully pull them out. Don't don't tear your strings. Don't ruin your strings. Now that's not to say that more pages won't come out in the future. This is just the minimum pages I like to remove. Okay. So it's possible. I don't know if I'll do any type of door thing with this or... You know, this is kind of where you do the, the hidden doors or... Maybe I'll have a train going away. The caravan leaving town. I was cleaning up my images from the knife thrower and I found her. I think seeing her line is better, even though this is covering up that last bit of uh, fabric that actually showed. It's such a shame. Uh, but next time I'll do it differently and it'll work better, so, uh, just cleaning up the brush. I know, I'm changing it. Artist prerogative, though. She deserves to be on here. She really does. Um, you know, anybody who stood in line of those knives... How amazing, how amazing for somebody to choose to do that. Oh, she didn't have any choice though. I mean, jobs for women, you know, she probably didn't have, it's possible she ran away with the servants. Yes, it is absolutely possible. But... Again, what, what called her to do this? She looks like she's pretty darn tough, though. She's got that look on her face. It's like, uh-huh. Come at me. Sad about covering up the other stuff. But she deserved it. Nobody will ever remember this girl's name. Somebody might. She was definitely somebody's daughter. What was she? wife? Was she a grandmother? Did she stay in the circus all of her life? What took her to that spot? Did she trust the man who was throwing, or woman, who was throwing the knives at her? And she fits in there perfect. Fine tuning. So happy I switched that. It sits so much better. Hundred times different. Okay, and now I'm really going to go away. <laughs> Hi, artists. Well, uh, after I woke up, I um, ended up having to do a bunch of other things. <laughs> so your video is uploaded on YouTube, uh, part one of this guy. I'm almost done editing part two of this guy. Uh, so that is almost done. Uh, 
I um just want to see something real quick. You remember how they have the the stars on all of these? Um, you know, the star being that big kind of symbol here. I want to look at one thing before going on to the next page. These are uh, some cool components that I found at Tuesday morning. That store, I swear to God, it's, uh, make sure you guys are in view here. It's gonna be the death of me. It's expensive. Okay, maybe not the big one. How about the little ones? Not the tiny ones, just the next size down. Oh. Oh, I think those kind of have to be there. Now, these are very bright and shiny. And they kind of like having this smaller size. See how that's a smaller size one there? Okay. That's awesome. Smaller size. <laughs> Love it. Okay, but they're very, very shiny. Very much, much too shiny. So let's see what happens if we grunge them down. And what should we grunge them with? I'm thinking about stays on. I'm thinking about alcohol ink. I'm thinking about um, something that's going to be permanent. But, you know, where these don't look like they're these big fake uh, stars. Can we do with them? I think we should do a trial one and see how it ends up with. Too big? Too big. These gotta be grunged. They've gotta be grunged, crew. Oh, 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 here we go. Um, this is Coptic. This is a Coptic ink refill. So Coptic pens are very expensive, but very nice professional drawing pens. They are um, a very great tool for uh, fine artists. So they have the same ink in them that, uh, not the same ink, the same type of permanent ink that a Sharpie would have into it, okay? So this Coptic ink is an alcohol-based ink. That's the important thing to know. Um, should not be open there. So let's see what we can do with this. I know I'm still working on the old page. <laughs> but this is how I do it. This is, you know, this is why my um, books look like fine art is because I, I really do take the time to make them as good as I possibly can. Um, and I think about them all the time. Okay. It's got this little plastic tab here on there. Let's just pop it off. Probably do it in some sort of sheet. Yeah. All right. This is uh, E18, so this is copper. And actually, I really love using this copper in my um, uh, alcohol ink bottles. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work, right? I don't know if it's gonna work. I haven't done this before. I haven't worked with these little plastic components before. I don't know. I do know that this is a beautiful color. And uh, probably the mixatives would work well over the top of this. Let's see if I can find that uh, gold color. Rich gold. All right, this is in my product list on Amazon. Please purchase off of that product list if there is a um, product that you want to use. Amazon does give me a really tiny kickback, but I need to get some verified purchases. People do go to it to look at the product, but they have not purchased from the link. I really need you guys to purchase from the link for me. 
Oh, okay, so where's some of our pipe, our pipe daubers? This is the Pinata Rich Gold. So I think this goes for, there we go. <laughs> this goes for, I believe, $11 for four ounces. Uh, the Dilutions, or I'm sorry, the Ranger, you can get uh, a half an ounce, uh, three or two for 11 bucks. So, uh, you know, this pinata comes in rich gold and copper and all these other different colors. I prefer the rich gold over all of the others. I do like the copper also. So I would suggest uh, the rich gold. And I could keep that around and reuse it again. You just don't want to mix from uh, color to color if you care about the purity of the color. So let's just kind of give this a quick daub. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now it doesn't have to be 100% covered. We don't want for what? Anything 100% covered. Go ahead and rub that guy. See if we can't bring the lines of that crystal back. I'm trying to get some gold in there. Just trying to paint them. Change them from looking like plastic to looking mm, something unique and interesting. Right? I love those words. Unique, interesting, innovative. That's what we're going for. You know, keep pushing yourself, pushing your products, pushing your pages, seeing what they can do for you. Innovate. Gorgeous. And let me let me then see what you're making, because I love to be inspired by what you're doing. All right, those will dry quick. I'm going to put those on with fabri -Tac. So we're going to kind of make this guy a little bit prepped here. It's a beautiful, perfect, 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 perfect. Wait till you see them on here. <laughs> Guarantee you will like it. See, there's always something more you can do to make it better. And yes, put them down precisely. Take the time to really look and see if those are pointing at the right spot and that they're doing the right thing. Okay, where's the smaller one? <laughs> kind of hard to tell. All right, so that's not going to be like, going to go off the page a little bit. Again, that copper really looks a lot like that um, timber brown it stays on. Make sure your little arrows are somewhat centered in there. Let's get out this guy. Okay, so see how that one's pushed up here. Let's try not to have too much extra overflow of glue. It's not a pretty thing. Perfect. That one's already dry. This one's very close. No, it's not. Let's bring it over and it will come off of the page. I want it to come off of the page. 
I don't want it to break when it comes off the page, but it is um, breaking the plane. Just getting any of that extra glue off of there. <laughs> Just the littlest additions sometimes really can make such an impact. Okay, I'm sticking my knees underneath my chair. Let's get this chair stiffened up. I did do some stretches today, so there we go. Uh, yeah, we got to keep our bodies healthy while we're working. I get so involved with what I'm doing that I forget to stretch and stand up and take care of myself. I really truly do. And then I go from one thing to the next to the next to the next. I don't stop. Not healthy. Need to work on that part. You in the frame? Once I get my dog, then I will have to get up off of my butt. It's also not only just having the company, but having a reason to make yourself go outside. It's a good thing. Sometimes we don't bother to do it for ourselves. I don't, at least. I'm sure I'm pretty similar to most humans that way. Or else we all wouldn't be overweight, and I am overweight. For me, I don't want to be, you know, not fat, but I want to gain more weight. I want to go the other way. I want to be skinny again. Ah, there we go. So what did that take? That took 15 minutes to do that. Little tiny addition. <laughs> wow. Just make sure that they're pretty even in there. They blend well. They've got a little bit of the glass look. They've got the gold and the copper on there. They are gorgeous. <laughs> Now this one feels a little dead. Let's see if we have any more of this gold on here that we can shimmer onto here. A little bit of osmosis. Oh yes. A little puddle on here somewhere. It never hurt adding just a touch more gold, can it? Small additions, small little detail. But very lovely. This one got really gold. You know, all I need to do is take a drop of alcohol and that will dissolve in there. We're gonna leave it for now. This guy got pretty gold also. Actually, I could take a piece of the, drop of the Coptic over it again. And yes, when I do this, this will get this copper color everywhere. I don't really want it on this. You do it one, you gotta do it all. That one's really good like it is. Okay. Ah! Bitch. Where's one of my Q-tips? I haven't seen those for a long time. I don't even know if I have any more left here. See, I like the color of that 
uh, Coptic ink, so I don't mind if it gets on the page. I wouldn't suggest it to do it like this, but I'm I'm okay with uh, the randomness that it's going to produce. So I know what it's going to do. If you don't know what it's going to do and you think, oh, geez, I don't know if I want to do that, then don't do it. Test it on something else. You know, it does affect this uh, Fabri-Tac glue somewhat. You know, you're, you're putting a liquid alcohol on top of a glue that's based, uh, you know, with that alcohol. So it can disintegrate the glue that's underneath of it as well as disintegrate the gold that's already on there. So it's a risky move. I was okay with seeing what would happen though. No fear. I can fix it. I can fix it. my head in your way? Sorry if it is. I'm trying to get you over the top of, of the piece of art as much as possible. I don't like to look at an angle when I'm watching videos. I, I don't like that angle view. I want a straight on view. So that's what I'm trying to do for you. Okay. <laughs> So I guess um, instead of this being part of the next video, uh, I will add this to the um, uh, repairs and adjustments video that I've got going because I changed this door. So that video uh, is currently on my phone. So this will be part of that. You just got to keep working it. All right, guys, we'll chat soon. Bye.